Hello, my name is Steven Cifuentes, and I'm doing the discussion board for music history survey number one. So how are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, this semester has been a little tough as I've been in jazz band for the first time, and we're going to this thing called TMEA or something. Uh, I've heard of it before, but I've never been. And uh, the music's pretty difficult, honestly. It's been a little tough, but you know, I like a challenge and you know, it's doable, so. Uh, what have I been doing lately? This whole time I've been honestly just home. There's been construction at my house. So I've just been practicing at home, uh, playing God of War to get ready for the new one that's coming out. So, and just practicing jazz one and like a bunch of guitar stuff uh, for Mr. Mahoney. So, Tell us a little bit about your assigned composer. My assigned composer, I chose Francesco Landini, and I thought he was really interesting because he was one of the most famous composers of the 14th century. He was born in 1325 in Italy, and he was actually blind his whole life due to smallpox. And he played, uh, he was famous for playing the organ. He played many instruments, but that's what he was famous for playing for, playing, and, um, he was a famous writer, and he actually got, uh, he was credited by, oh yeah, here. So at the age of 39, he was given the Laurel Crown, which was like uh, recognition for his achievement in poetry, music, and literature. Or not literature, but uh, poetry. And he was given that by Pietro il Grande, the king of Cyprus. So he was very well known. And uh, he's, as one of the most famous composers, 135 or so of his works are saved in libraries. So there's a lot of material to go over. Uh, so my specific research was about the Landini cadence. And the Landini cadence is the si is when the sixth scale degree is interposed between the leading note and its resolution. Uh, so I was my study was basically on how that became known as the Landini cadence and uh, why he made it so famous. So the piece I chose, which uses a lot of the Landini cadence, is Non Avra Mai Pieta, uh, and it's written. It's written in three, four, and it has three voices, uh, two females and a tenor, uh, a tenor, it has a tenor, an alto, and a soprano, I believe. And uh, it's written in the key of C. And my, my original connection was to see why it became the Landini cadence. And from my research, I figured out that, uh, Landini used the, the cadence much more than many other people did at the time. Uh, he, in his three, uh, in his three voice palatas, it was used in over like 80% of his cadences. So that systematic use in his palatas was, uh, that systematic use in all of his, in his three voice palatas is what gave him the name because he used it so much that uh, it became known as his cadence, even though it had been used for hundreds of years before. And that's it, thank you.